What's going on guys so today i'm going to be talking and doing a, a real like just a brief lesson on the number system and the reason why it's so important if you haven't already kind of been learning about the number system or understanding about the number system i'm just going to do a little teaching uh today um for those that are brand new to this channel please go ahead and subscribe and click the bell to be notified every time that i'm doing um your a lesson or a live or anything, you'll be notified. So I don't want you to miss out. So I want to go ahead and say this for everybody that's brand new to this channel that I want you to go ahead and click the um, subscribe. Number one, click the bell to be notified because I'm going to be doing these from time to time. And I don't want you to miss out on this phenomenal teaching that we're going to be doing. So today I'm talking about the number system and I want to kind of keep it light and breezy and not too heavy, not too much information because I don't want you to think, you know, it's a lot to digest. So I want to keep it kind of light and breezy today. Also, for those who are brand new um, to this channel, I kind of want to tell you who I am so the way you're just, you know, you understand who is talking to you. Um, so my name is Carrie. I've been playing for over 25 years. Um, I've played with a lot of major artists and I've been on tour with a lot of different artists. So let's just give you a brief rundown. Drayson Derulo, I played with. Tyrese, I played with. Lettucey, I played with. Two Chains, Ty Dolla Sign, Trey Songs, Keanu Lede, Tori Kelly. I've done some work with the Black Eyed Peas. I've done a lot of different things and I produce records, um, placements with Taint, Jacquees, and a host of others, just to give you a little snapshot into some of the stuff that I do. I wanna establish my credibility with you first. So I'm not saying it just to be like, oh, I'm that, I'm that guy, y'all should whatever. I'm just letting you know so when you're hearing what I have to say, it's not one of those things like, man, he don't know what he's talking about because I've been there. I know what it, what it feels like when I was one of those guys just kind of like, you know, like, oh, I don't know what they're talking about. So I just wanted to establish that first so that way we have a brief understanding. So when I'm sharing information with you, you may not agree with everything that I'm saying. And that's OK. I mean, I understand we all have difference of opinions, but I want you to know that at least I know what I'm talking about. I'm, I'm in there somewhere. All right. So to jump into this lesson about the number system, the reason why I think the number system is extremely important uh, to learn because it's like a universal language. It allows you to be able to communicate. I know a lot of my church musicians um, know something about the number system, especially when you're playing in church and you can't just yell across like, hey, we're in the key of blah, blah, blah. We're playing an A. Sometimes they just hold up numbers, you know, whatever it is, and you just got to know what it is. So it's like a way of kind of speaking in code, if you will, that you can understand and we can all understand what it is. So I want to kind of keep it really simple, not too heavy, not too like, oh my God, he's about to give us a theory lesson. It's about to be super boring and mundane. I just want to show you just a couple different ideas and a couple different tips that can kind of make it a little bit more simple for you. Um, so when you're looking at trying to learn the number system, I say you want to break it up, right? The thing about me was when I teach a lot of my students is the more you can make something digestible, the easier it is for you to retain information. If you do note cards, note cards is a good gray, good way for you to write down whatever key you're in, then you can hold up a number. So the number that we want to focus in on is one through seven because eight is we're starting back all over again. So you, nobody doesn't go to eight. So it's one through seven, right? So one is always our root note. So as a rule of thumb, that's always going to be our major chord. It's going to be a major chord. All right, two and three are always going to be minors, okay? And then four and five are going to be major. Six is going to be minor and seven is going to be minor. That's just as a rule of thumb. I, I wanna just be like, if I, so if somebody said like, oh, go to the one, if you didn't know anything else, whatever key you're in, you know you're at least playing a major chord, right? So major chord is like happy. If you're playing a minor chord, it's like a sad. That's how I, I usually try to teach it like in the beginning for people that are trying to digest what that means. So major's happy, minor sad, okay? Just to, you know, I wanna try to keep it, you might be like, oh, that's man, that's super elementary. It's okay, and let's, the more simple you can keep something, the easier it is for you to, to digest it and, and duplicate it again, right? 
So we know if we're playing a, our number one, our root is always going to be a major chord. Our two is always going to be minor. Our three is going to be minor. Our four is going to be major. Okay, our five is going to be major. Our six is going to be minor. Our seven is going to be minor. And then our one is going to be back to that major, right? So I want to show you a little rule that I try to I try to teach. So now our root note is going to be in the fifth string. So what I'm saying, if you're looking at your guitar, it's the second to thickest string. That's where our root note is going to be. So we're going to be in the key of C, right? So we know, because I've explained this to you, real brief, but I've explained it to you, our root note, our one is going to be a major chord. So I'm going to play a major seven. All right. From that fret, two frets up, one, two is going to be our two chord. So our two chord we know is going to be minor. Two chord, two frets up, three. One half fret up is going to be four. Now this is kind of like a thing that I like to try to do in order to make it a little bit more simple for myself. Right above the one is going to be my five. Two frets up from the five is going to be six. Two frets up from six is going to be my seven. And back to my one. So, I want you to look at my face. And I know it feels like it's like, oh my God, he's just giving me a whole bunch of stuff. The thing about the number system, if you if you really work on getting it, like take the time to really be like, you know what? I got time now. I'm really going to like the next few weeks, month, whatever you want to call it, whatever you want to consider in yourself, in your own mind, I'm going to really learn it. And so what I suggest you doing is probably taking the first three, work on the first three a day. Really one of those suggests to just really focus in on learning like those first three and then take the next three. That way it's easier for you to digest. You don't want to like give yourself too much to like process and then you feel like you're overwhelmed. So just taking like the first two or three. And the great thing, once you learn the number system, if you're in any genre, it does not matter if it's pop, if it's country, if it's singer songwriter, if it's um, R&B, if it's gospel, you're able to understand that language. So let's just say I'm on an R&B gig, right? And they say, yo, we're in the key of C, um, but we wanna say that uh, you're gonna be playing this kind of progression. Let's say the progression is gonna be two, four, three, six, three. So, okay, I'm in the key of C. I know two, it's gonna be minor, four, major, six, and then three, Okay, so like I'm able to at least understand what the numbers are. So if somebody's just, yo, we're gonna be in the key of A. So now the difference is when you're playing, when your root note is on the sixth string, I'm gonna show you what I use as a rule of thumb, okay? So my root note, I know it's gonna be a major. My root note is on the sixth, which is the thickest string. Two frets up is going to be my two. Two frets up is gonna be my three. Right underneath my one is gonna be my four. Two frets up from four is going to be five. Two frets up is going to be six. Then if I go right back up here to where my one is, one step up is going to be my seven. Then back to one. So it's one, two, three. That's how I keep it together. So let's just say if I'm in the key of A, right? And then like the progression is going to be six, four, five, two. So six, four. Five, two. So I'm able to play in whatever key, like it doesn't matter. So let's just say now they want to be like, okay, cool. The next song is going to be in the key of G. It's going to be more of a pop kind of feel. So the progression is going to be six, five, four. So I'm in the key of G. I'm thinking pop. Right? So I gotta understand, like, my feel has gotta be different. So I wanna play, like, pop chord. So it doesn't matter what kind of, you know, the genre is. I, of course, my approach would have to change, but I just wanna make sure that, like, whatever I'm doing, 
I can understand at least have a general concept. Now you have to listen to the records to know exactly how they go, but just have a, at least a general information and knowledge. The number system really can help you to unlock the fretboard. It's just one of those things that if you take the time and attention to detail to really understand what it is, it can really help you unlock it. Now, this was not an in-depth um, like type of uh, training, if you will. It's just a real general overview. I'm just trying to show you a couple of different things. I highly encourage you to go back and rewatch this video. Um, I saw some of the comments, not that I'm choosing to ignore it. I'm just saying that I saw some of the comments. Some, Like I said, again, some of you guys may agree with my methodology. Some of you guys may not. But I'm telling you, this methodology has been proven to work for a long time. Yeah, it has worked on countless stages with a lot of different musicians. It didn't matter if it was playing gospel music, if I was playing neo soul, if I was playing singer song, writer pop, whatever. It's been proven to work. Um, the system that I'm talking about is the Nashville number system. So if you love the stuff that we're doing, um, Carrie's Camp goes even deeper. So I want to give you guys kind of behind the scenes kind of snapshot into what that looks like. Um, and I highly encourage you um, to go check it out for yourself. Like I said, again, um, Carrie's Camp. It's like a really cool situation because it's like it's my baby that I've taken time to really just really work and show um, musicians and guitarists all over the world how to really unlock their full potential. And one of the things we talk about is the number system because it's one of the um, foundational pillars, if you will, about the music industry that I feel it'll definitely help you as a guitarist. Right. So um, let's just go check it out. OK, so I want to give you guys kind of a behind the scenes look. All right, let's check this out. So here you go. This is the number system. And mind you, you see like you have a lot of different kind of lessons that we talk about, but here we're gonna be talking about specifically the number system. So I, I go on there and you click on it, you can check it out, like, you know, what we're talking about. The hand shapes for the chords don't change. So we're talking the about- The will change. So once you understand the hand shapes, you'll be very familiar and be very- I mean, this is just a brief snapshot. So like I said, again, it's, it's one of those things you could definitely check out. Um, I'm only sharing this information because I, I know it's useful. I know it can definitely help a lot of guitars if you're struggling in any area of your playing, um, really learning the number system and really unlocking your full potential, you can definitely check out the site. So the site is carriescamp.com. That is K-E-R-R-Y-K-A-M-P.com. Just check it out. Like I said, you can go on the site for seven days. There's no, nothing, it's free. Check it out, see if it's something that's for you, something that you would like, something that's gonna help you grow in your craft. Um, and then you could definitely use it. Um, one more thing that I wanted to share with you is just like, it's a lot of information, but if you slow it down, you can make it digestible. So it's one of those things. It's like, it's a lot of information. That's what I was telling you before, like take three numbers at a time, learn those numbers and be mindful to think about learning those shapes. It's really important to really understand and learn those shapes. Once you learn the shapes, it's easy for you to kind of transition and balance in between different kind of chords. Okay. Uh, let me go back and look at some of these questions. Cause there's a lot of uh, stuff and I don't want to make sure I didn't miss anything. Um, it's most useful. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. You're my favorite guitarist, man. I, I listen, I appreciate it. All this great content. Definitely. It says, um, how do you know playing the minor and major chords based on shapes of the guitar? So that's one of the things that you'll find out in Carrie's Game. I have a video chord library that talks about like how we determine the shapes, um, playing major shapes and playing minor shapes. And understanding once you get past, like I don't even call it basic, um, past the fundamentals of learning those particular kind of shapes, you can start to stretch out a little bit and we can change the voicings or playing different kind of inversions. We talk about that as well. Um, what's up, I was looking for motivation to practice. Uh, do you give online lessons? Jess Neely, yes, I give online lessons. If you go to carriescamp.com, that's um, essentially what I was talking about, um, carriescamp.com, um, I have over 500 and almost 600 videos of content that will help you um, grow in your craft and really unlock your full potential. It doesn't matter if you're a beginner or it doesn't matter if you're advanced. We touch on all levels because I don't want anybody to be left behind. So that's one of the things that we focus on. Um, it says, really enjoy your lesson. Sup, 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 sup. Okay, cool, cool. Okay, great. Like I said, again, this is just a brief overview. I didn't want to like consume up your day because I know it's Friday. Y'all got crazy plans, probably doing all types of stuff, but I really want you to check it out. 
Like I said, this is just a brief overview. I wanted to kind of touch just a broad stroke um, and help you to understand if you want more in, in depth, you should definitely go check out my website. And like I said, I have all of those lessons laid out in there for the number system and, and more. Um, it's carriescamp.com. It's K-E-R-R-Y-S, K-A-M-P.com. Um, and if you're brand new to this channel, if you have not already subscribed, please subscribe and then click the bell to be notified because I'm going to be doing lessons like this from time to time and I really don't want you to miss out on those nuggets. Also, for those who are brand, who just jumped on and didn't hear me before, I'll just kind of give you a snapshot of my resume so you'll know who you're talking to and you won't be thinking like, oh, this guy's just randomly just talking. I've been playing guitar for over 25 years. Um, I've been playing for a lot of different artists um, for all different types of genres, like singer, songwriter, pop, neo soul, r and I've played on TV shows. I've been featured in magazines. I played for uh, Derulo, Tyrese. I played for Lettucey. I played for Ty Dolla Sign. I played for Two Chains. I played for Tori Kelly. I played for Melanie Fiona. I played for V Bozeman. I mean, and the list goes on. I played for a lot of different people, and I've gotten a chance to do a lot of production work and a lot of different things. And one of the things I'll tell you, just as a musician, as a guitarist, the more simple you can make something for yourself, the easier for you to be able to play it and you don't have to think about it. I'll see a lot of guitarists a lot of times get in their own head and not able to really play because they're in their own head. So I really want you to focus in on keeping it simple. You know, keep it super simple. The more simple you can make it, the easier it is for yourself. So when it comes to the number system, working on note cards. You can have somebody test you. They could be like, oh, okay, we're in the key of C. Give them the key of C, like note cards that you have. They start calling out random numbers. That way it's gonna make it easier for you to really understand how to play those particular chords because it's just gonna be easy for you to digest. And once you really understand how to play in the number system, it's going to unlock a lot of things. You're gonna have an aha moment um, with your guitar, whether that be on stage, whether that be in your house, whether it be at a coffee shop, wherever it is, you'll have that moment and you realize, Man, I've been making this way more complicated than what it is. And it's going to be easier for you to really digest um, a lot of music because you may get a gig last second. And if you know the number system, you can kind of do like some rough stre rough sketches on some chord charts so you know the songs. So you don't have to be trying to remember all this stuff off memory because it's a lot of stuff to remember. So it'll help you out. Um, it's some really good information. So I'm going to quit talking because I feel like I've been talking your head off. Love you guys. Um, tomorrow we're doing conversations with Carrie. So like... Um, definitely that's something for you to check out. So like I said, if you have not already subscribed and click the bell to be notified, you definitely want to do that. Don't want you to miss out. You guys have a great one and enjoy your weekend, man. Seriously.